six years from now, the average age of Monu's age, so the average of Monu's age that time and Ninu's age that time will be 29 years. Right? right. So, so six, six years, years from now, now means what? After six years. After six years, the average of Monu's age at that time. That means Monu's age after six years and Ninu's age at that time means Ninu's age after six years will be 29 years. So their average age after six years is going to be 29 years. Five years ago, right? Five years ago, the ratio of Monu's age to Ninu's age at that time again, right? That time was 11 to 7. So if you take Monu's age minus 5 and Ninu's age minus 5, the ratio will come out to be 11 to 7. From this data, he's asking us to find out Ninu's present age. Ninu's present age. Now, there is a step-by-step -step process that you can follow and get the answer here. Basically, there are two equations and two unknowns. You can solve for it, right? How do you do that? The conventional method, right? How do you do it? See, let us assume Monu's present age is M. Ninu's present age is N. He says six years from now, the average of Monu's age that time and Ninu's age that time will be 29 years. See, Monu's age after six years will be M plus six. Ninu's age after six years will be N plus six. The average of these two values, that means M plus six plus N plus six by two is equal to 29. This is equation number one. What is the second equation? Five years ago, the ratio of Monu's age to Ninu's age was 11 is to seven. So five years ago, Monu's age was M minus five. Ninu's age was N minus five. This ratio is was 11 is to seven. Second equation. Now two equations and two unknown values. M and N are the two unknown values. So you can solve these two equations and find out what is N. He's asking us to find out Ninu's present age. N is equal to what is the question. So that's how you solve it using the conventional method. But in my view, it's a waste of time, especially uh, you know, when it comes to questions on ages, which are based on ratios, right? So how do you solve it? How do you solve it without having to uh, use these equations, without using these equations? So I think the first step is to eliminate what you know is definitely wrong. Like for example, if you read the second part of the question, it says five years ago, the ratio of Monu's age to Ninu's age was 11 is to 7, which means I know that Five years ago, Ninu's age was a multiple of 7. Monu's age was a multiple of 11. Yes or no? Five years ago, Monu's age was a multiple of 11. And Ninu's age was a multiple of 7. You get it? This is the first thing that you must observe in, in such questions. Five years ago, their ages were multiples of 11 and 7 respectively. What is he asking us to find out? Ninu's present age. So obviously, in the options, he would have given us Ninu's present age. So according to option 1, Ninu's present age is 17. Option 2 says it should be 33. Option 3 says it should be 27 and so on. Now, how do you verify using the options? Let us assume option 1 is correct. If option 1 is correct, Ninu's present age is 17. If Ninu's present age is 17, Ninu's age 5 years ago was 12. 17 minus 5, 12. Is 12 a multiple of 7? No, 12 is not a multiple of 7. Option 1 is wrong. Because we very well know that Ninu's age 5 years ago was a multiple of 7. Look at option 2. According to option 2, Ninu's present age is 33. If the present age is 33, 5 years ago, the age was 28. Is 28 a multiple of 7? Yes. Now, just because 28 is a multiple of 7, you cannot say option 2 is the answer. You'll have to verify the other conditions as well. Right? You'll have to verify the other conditions as well. Now, what are the other condition? It is about their average age. But we'll go to that later. Let us check the remaining options first. Present age 27. 5 years ago, 22. Is that a multiple of 7? No. Eliminated. Present age 19, 5 years ago 14, is that a multiple of 7? Yes. So option 4 is also possible. Option 2 is possible. 4 also is possible. Option 5, present age 22, 5 years ago 17, is that a multiple of 7? No. Option 5 is eliminated. So if you go by this process, within a span of let's say 10 seconds, you will be able to eliminate 3 of the wrong answers, 3 of the wrong options. And then if you are really lucky and let's say 4 options get eliminated, then the one which is left out is the correct answer. You don't even have to, uh, you know, work on the second condition there. Now, because two options are satisfying one condition here, we have to verify the second condition. <coughs> right? Now, what is the second condition? Let us, let us try and understand this average part here. This again can be made much simpler. Instead of saying M plus 6 plus N plus 6 by 2 is 29, we can simply say that the present average of these two guys is 23 years. How do we so how, how do we say that? How do we say that? See, after six years, their average is 29 years. 
let us let us look at the present ages right present age is m present age is n after 6 years what happens after 6 years it will become plus 6 so m will become m plus 6 n will become n plus 6 he says the average of these two values is 29 years the average of these two values is 29 years understand from the basics of average we know that when each term increases by 6 average also increases by 6 when each term increases by x average increases by x when each term decreases by x average decreases by x when each term in the group is multiplied by let's say some value y average also gets multiplied by y when each term gets divided by some value let's say uh, a the average also gets divided by a now the point is going by that if you if you see m plus 6 and n plus 6 average is 29 if you look at m and n what has happened this has decreased by 6 years this also has decreased by 6 years is it i mean we are going in the reverse direction m plus 6 has become m so reduced by 6 years n plus 6 has become n reduced by 6 years now if both the values are reduced by 6 years their average will also get reduced by 6 years it will become 23 years remember the average is 23 if average is 23 sum will be 46 so i can say that the present sum is 46 years and remember you should be able to analyze this and then come to this conclusion that present sum is 46 without writing any step on paper you should not write this in the exam of, of course, course this method you don't need to use at all but even this part should not be put on paper after 6 is 29 present is 23 present is 23 means sum is 46 that's it so you know that the sum is 46 now verify according to option 2 nilu's present age is 33 that means out of 46 n's contribution is 33 So what will be m's contribution? Thirteen. Is it not thirty-three plus thirteen is forty-six? Thirty-three plus thirteen is forty-six. Which means, according to option two, Monu's present age is thirteen. If Monu's present age is thirteen, what what was Monu's age five years ago? Thirteen minus five. Thirteen minus five is what? Eight. Is eight a multiple of eleven? No. Option two also is eliminated, and hence option four is the answer. Let us let us verify this for option four as well. As it is, it is actually not needed because you are hundred percent sure that one, two, three, and five are wrong. So four has to be the answer. But let's verify. What happens here? See, according to this option, Nino's present age is nineteen. That means out of forty-six, nineteen goes to Nino. If Nino's age is nineteen, what should be Mono's age? Forty-six minus nineteen. What is forty-six minus nineteen? Twenty-seven. So Mono's present age is twenty-seven according to option four. Monu's present age is twenty-seven. If Monu's present age is twenty-seven, five years ago Monu's age would be twenty-two. Twenty-seven minus five twenty-two is twenty-two a multiple of eleven? Yes. Satisfying all conditions, right? Option four is the answer. 